Hello, hello, hello. This is Spirit Fire Star Seed High Priestess. How are you guys doing today? Hope I hope you guys are having a lovely day. All right, so today we're going to do Capricorn. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. I thank you guys for hanging out with me today. All my information is in the description box. If you'd like to donate or contribute to my channel, I greatly appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Holy Divine Spirit. What is the message for Capricorn? Capricorn, Earth sign, May 2022. What is the message for Capricorn? All praise to the Most High. What is the message for Capricorn? Okay, we got King of Wands and the Alchemist. Okay. Let's see if y'all can see that. Got the King of Wands and the Alchemist. Okay, so um, we got a male fire sign here. This is uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Coming in strong here. And then we got the Alchemist here. So you're in the process of manifesting what you want. You guys know how to manifest what you need. Okay. Holy Divine Angie, what is the message for Capricorn? What is the message for Capricorn, Holy Divine Angie? Princess of Swords. Okay. Princess of Swords is a rebel, a free thinker. She thinks on her own. She stands on her own two feet. She's an inventor, a rebel. Okay. She doesn't take other people's word for anything. Okay. What is the message for Capricorn? So you'll be attending an invitation, attending an event. You may be receiving an invitation for an event. Uh, this could also be completion of a goal that you set. Okay. Attending a celebration. All right. What's next for Capricorn? Holy Divine Angel. Priestess here, okay. So this person is very spiritually intuitive. They have this person has a lot of spiritual knowledge, very intuitive, has some psychic ability as well. Okay, we got the princess of pentacles. So this is a spiritual awakening. Some of you are going through a spiritual awakening here, so especially right here next to the high priestess. Okay. Next for Capricorn, Holy Divine Angel. Okay, 
Who's next for Capricorn? Who is divine energy? Okay, we have Ten of Wands. So <clears throat> some of you are doing too much. So we got the Ten of Wands here. You're taking on too many burdens. You got too many burdens that you need to release. Okay. Some of you are doing too much. And we have, all right, the Nine of Cups and the King of Cups. Okay, so we got wish fulfillment here. We got abundance, satisfaction, and then you got uh, another king coming in here, King of Cups. Male or female, take it as it resonates. So we got the King of Cups here, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming in here. And you had the King of Wands earlier. Okay. What's next for Capricorn? Okay, we have five ones. Okay, so you got a lot of conflict and competition going on here with this King of Cups coming in with a lot of competition and conflict and drama okay okay what's next for capricorn what's next for capricorn holy divine energy Look at that, Ten of Pentacles. So you got the Ten of Pentacles here. So you got some a great amount of wealth coming in here. Got some big money coming in here. It could be an inheritance or either uh, from, the, from a different source coming in here. Okay, and then we have Prince of Cups, all right? Another love interest coming in here. So you got three love interests already. You got the King of Wands, you got the King of Cups and the Prince of Cups. Okay. You got money here. You got people trying to, uh, looks like people trying to, uh, trying to compete with you or trying to, uh, cause you to have conflict. Okay. Swords. Okay, so here we go. We got somebody trying to stab you in the back. Something is coming to an end here. You got some gossip, gossip slandering going on here. Okay. Could be related to money. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, then we got two of pentacles and the world. Wow, okay. So you juggling with the two of pentacles here. You're going to be juggling. And then we got the world here. So it could be, you could be traveling. You have all the, you have all the resources you need here to put the world here. You have everything you need and you may be traveling here. So we got the two of pentacles. Yeah, it looks like you got some people around you that are, uh, got major drama, conflict, chaos going on here. Cause you're going from the 10 to the two and then we have the 10 of swords here so a lot of gossip and slandering okay we got the nine of wands and the three of wands here so the nine of wands you're protecting yourself you got your guard up and then you have the three of wands so you're waiting Waiting on your ships to come in here. Okay, what's next for Capricorn? Yeah, I 
I see um with this nine of wands here, um <coughs> you protecting yourself from all this gossiping and chaos. Okay. What's next for Capricorn? Okay, we have the Emperor here. Okay. <coughs> you got the big time Emperor here. Okay. Okay, let's get a couple more for Capricorn. Okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles and the Hangman. So you waiting. You waiting on money? We got a new money making project coming up. New money making project coming up, but you're waiting here with the hangman. And the three of wands <clears throat> also indicate waiting. Okay. But you got another money making project coming up here. Okay. We got the emperor here. Yeah, it looks like you're waiting. Waiting on love, waiting on money. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting here. But you will be starting a new money-making project as well. And you got some major wealth coming in here with the Ten of Pentacles. And so we have uh, three suitors, the King of Wands, King of Cups, and the Emperor here. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we can find out with the other deck. The Oracle deck. Okay. And then it's, uh, it looks like you're going to be having some uh, spiritual epiphany here with the High Priestess and the Princess of Pentacles here. You're going to be having some kind of epiphany or some type of uh, wow, what, what is it called? Uh, is it called a wow moment or an epiphany of some sort? Or awakening with these two together like this? So, <clears throat> but you'll be fine here with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay. Okay, what is the message for Capricorn, Holy Divine Energy? What is the message for Capricorn, Holy Divine Energy? House and courthouse. What? Two houses. Okay. <laughs> That's weird how that came out like that. Okay. Some of you may be buying a house or attend, uh, uh, move, moving into a new house or buying, purchasing a house and then they came out together so the courthouse has something to do with that house then so are you doing some legal paperwork about a house or buying a house or you could be moving to a new house okay let's get uh let's get some more for capricorn what's going on with Capricorn then we got the poverty card okay so some of you are still in that poverty mindset that you need to get rid of okay Okay. 
Okay, what's next for Capricorn? A message. Okay, so you got a message coming here. Okay, you got a false person here, and we got community, okay? False person in your community, these both fell out at the same time. False person in community. So you got somebody false around you, could be a possible friend or a neighbor, could be family, I don't know, but community, uh, there's somebody around you in your community, so they both fell out at the same time, okay? What's next for Capricorn? What's next for Capricorn? courtship and unexpected income wow okay so some of you are dating or in the process of dating someone okay and then we have unexpected income there we go further confirmation of wealth unexpected income coming in okay let's get one more for capricorn again wrap this up let's get one more for capricorn <clears throat> okay. So some of you have a child or will be having children. Okay. And then we had jurisdiction on the bottom of the deck. So some of you may be, like I said, attending court or have some type of legal issue. All right. All right, let's get a few more of these and then we'll wrap it up with Capricorn. All right, we got uh, the Kabbalah Tree of Life. Integration, life lessons, emanation. Okay, so you're learning life's lessons. So, Bala Tree of Life. Okay. 
destroy the divine energy. What's next for Capricorn? Okay, then we had an earth element. Survival, adaptable, reliable. Okay. Which you are, earth element. Okay. Alpha Draconians, corrupt unethical cults. Oh, okay. And then we have Nephilim, controversial assessing new perspectives. Okay, so it's saying you may need to look at a new perspective of things. Nephilim. All right, so I hope this helps uh, my fellow my Capricorns. Thank you guys for hanging out for me, and uh, until next time, take care.